Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's your favorite introvert here, and today we will be talking about Litchi. We are going to be continuing the Litchi series, and we will be talking about waypoint features for Litchi. I have been getting a lot of comments from you guys about waypoints, saying that the only reason some of you have purchased Litchi is for this specific feature in the app, which is waypoints. So from doing my due diligence and research, I can see why. Litchi's waypoint mode allows you to set up classic waypoint missions as well as advanced camera moves such as selfies and cable cams. You can place multiple waypoints on a map however far you want and the aircraft will fly from waypoint to waypoint and complete the mission even if the signal is lost. Even if your connection is broken from the remote controller to your drone, your drone will continue to fly the mission and return to home. The maximum aircraft speed in this mode, though, is 15 meters per second, and that is with no wind whatsoever. Enter the waypoint mode by pressing the flight mode icon at the top left corner of the screen and select waypoint. You can now start editing your missions. Let's start with the icons on the screen, though, and what they stand for and what actions they take. Starting with go home. Tap to trigger return to home, though this feature is only available for Android users. Return to home can also be triggered using the remote controller. Next is the start, pause, resume mission. In edit mode, tap this button to show the pre-flight report and then start the mission. While in a mission, this button will allow you to pause and resume the waypoint mission. Mission settings, tap this to display the mission settings. We will cover this in detail in a moment. Save mission, tap this to save a mission. Load mission, tap to load a previously saved mission. Add point of interest. This toggles the point of interest mode. When on, a click on the map will add a point of interest. The drawing tool. This drawing tool, it will toggle the drawing tools. When on, you will be able to draw a path of waypoints on the map and customize those points. Clear all. Tap to reset everything in the editor. Mission info shows general mission information. In edit mode, the total distance and time will be displayed. During a mission, the target waypoint number will be shown, as well as the current state of the aircraft. And finally, batch edit. Tap to enter batch edit mode. This will allow you to easily edit multiple waypoints at once. This is a great option if you're editing more than 20 because clicking, selecting, and editing individual waypoints becomes a pain. Now let's talk about mission settings. We'll start off with heading mode. Heading mode defines the heading of the aircraft during the mission. Choose between towards next waypoint, initial direction, user controlled, or waypoint defined. Using waypoint defined custom on iOS, also means that the aircraft will smoothly transition from one waypoint's heading to the next. Finish icon. This chooses an action that the aircraft will perform at the end of the mission. Available choices are none, which means it will just hover there where it stops. Go home. Obviously, this is return to home. This is where it will launch. It launches from. Land. This will land where the last waypoint is. Where the drone stops at the last waypoint, that is where it will land. Back to first waypoint, back to first waypoint on iOS, and reverse. When using reverse, though, the only way for the mission to end is if you manually stop it. Reverse allows you to let the aircraft fly to the last waypoint and then replay the mission in reverse using the joysticks or the cruise speed slider. Path mode. Choose between straight lines where the aircraft will go straight to each waypoint, then turn or Curve turns where the aircraft will not stop at the waypoints and instead take a curved turn at an angle predetermined by you. I think default is 75 degrees or something like that. Cruising speed. Cruising speed defines the autonomous flight speed of the aircraft. If you do not use the remote controller's right joystick while in mode 2 during the mission, the speed of the aircraft will travel at its cruising speed. This can be set to negative values if you want the aircraft to travel backwards autonomously. And this can be adjusted while the mission is in progress. Max flight speed. If you use the remote controller's right joystick while the mission is in progress, you can increase the speed of the aircraft 
up to the max flight speed that you select here. Default curve. When adding a new waypoint, the previous waypoint's curve size will be set to the default curve side percentages of the minimum length available on both adjacent sides of the waypoint. So if you have two waypoints that are closer together, obviously you can't do, say, a default 75 degrees because the path may not be large enough. So therefore, it will adjust and correct itself manually. Also, while using path mode, if you use straight lines, you will not be able to use the curve size. It will just go straight to the waypoint, make a hard abrupt turn, and continue on to the next waypoint. On to default gimbal pitch mode. Default gimbal pitch mode to be used for newly added waypoints. And rotations and direction when set to managed aircraft rotations from waypoint to waypoint will always use the shortest direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. This will allow the drone to choose for itself which way it wants to turn while in transition to the next waypoint. So it's pretty interesting there. Waypoints. To add waypoints, tap anywhere on the map. Make sure that the POI toggle is not on and you can add up to 99 waypoints. To view the waypoint settings, tap the waypoint itself. To drag a waypoint, do a long press on the waypoint, then move it around to your desired location. To delete a waypoint, tap on the waypoint to open its settings, then tap the minus icon at the top left corner of the waypoint settings window. To insert a waypoint between two consecutive waypoints, tap the first waypoint of the two to open its settings, then tap the plus icon at the top left corner of the waypoint settings window. A waypoint will then be inserted between this waypoint and the next. It will be placed exactly in the middle of these two waypoints. And you can continue to break it down further doing the same if you would like multiple waypoints entered into that segment. Moving into waypoint settings. Altitude. The altitude of the waypoint relative to the elevation of the aircraft where it took off. The waypoint's altitude is also shown above the waypoint marker on the map. Speed. The speed at which the aircraft will travel from this waypoint to the next. By default, the aircraft will use the mission's cruising speed setting. But the cruise speed can be overridden for each waypoint using this setting. There is a warning though. This setting is only in effect when the aircraft is in range of the remote controller. If signal is lost during the mission, the aircraft will continue the mission at the speed it was traveling when signal was lost. Curve size. Curve size defines the size of the curve turn at this waypoint. A bigger size means the aircraft will start the turn earlier while traveling to this waypoint. This setting only applies when the mission setting path mode is set to curve turns. It also does not apply to the first and last waypoints as there are no turns at these waypoints. The path of the curve is drawn in turquoise on the map. It will update dynamically as you adjust the curve size setting. Heading. The direction relative to north in which the aircraft will look at when arriving at this waypoint. Zero degrees is north, 90 degrees is east. This setting only applies when the mission setting heading mode is set to waypoint defined. If two consecutive waypoints have different headings, the aircraft will smoothly transition from one heading to the other while traveling from the first waypoint to the second. The waypoint heading is represented by the blue aircraft icon on top of each waypoint. It will update dynamically as you adjust the heading setting. Rotation. When two consecutive waypoints have different headings, the aircraft will smoothly rotate from the first heading to the next. This setting defines the direction in which the aircraft will rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Gimbal pitch. Choose between disabled, where the gimbal pitch control will be manual, focus POI, where the litchi will automatically control the gimbal pitch to keep the selected POI in the center of the frame, or interpolate, where you can specify the gimbal pitch angle at this waypoint. For interpolate to work, the previous or next waypoint needs to be set to interpolate as well. Litchi will then automatically adjust the gimbal pitch angle to start and end at the specified angles and smoothly transition while traveling between the two waypoints. POI or point of interest. Use this setting to change which POI a waypoint will focus on. By default, when adding a waypoint, it will focus on the nearest POI if there is one. Actions. Each waypoint can have up to 15 different actions. And these actions are... Performed when the aircraft arrives at the waypoint. There are six different waypoint actions, three of which accept an additional parameter. 
You can add up to 15 different actions for each waypoint. Waypoint actions are ignored when the mission path mode is curved turns, as the aircraft will not stop at waypoints then. These actions are stay four, the time in seconds that the aircraft should pause at the waypoint, the maximum is 32 seconds. Take photo, the camera will take one picture for this action to work, recording must be off. Start recording, the camera will start recording at this moment and stop recording, the camera will stop recording at this moment. Rotate aircraft, the aircraft will rotate to the specified angle. The parameter is the angle relative to north that the aircraft should rotate to. Again, zero degrees is north and 90 degrees is east. For example, setting it to 270 degrees means that the aircraft will rotate to point towards west. If the aircraft is already pointing west before starting this action, it will not rotate. And tilt camera, the gimbal will move to specified angle or tilt and the valid value range is positive zero degrees to negative 90 degrees or looking down. So as you can see, there is absolutely limitless customizable features for just this single function of the Litchi app. Waypoints is something that you can definitely customize beyond probably what you need to. Um, really, there's so many options you can get confused, but it is very fun to play with and has a lot of power for you to use. So I hope you like this video. That's gonna wrap it up. There is so much that you can do with waypoints. It would probably take an hour more to walk through each individual line of features, but we're gonna end it at this. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you next time.